The danger of the past is that men become slaves. The danger of the future is that men may become robots. That is said towards the very end of this film of Robocop Meltdown. This is the next installment of the, uh, you, how you say, chronologically altered storyline to Robocop. And it takes place directly after uh, Dark Justice, where it takes place like a few weeks after supposedly John Cable's death. Uh, OCP labels Robocop like a robo killer because of his excessive use of force and violence towards the bad guys. So they kind of see this as a little bit of a problem because they don't want their company being faced like that. Even though he's taking bad guys out and off the streets, he does use a more excessive force instead of thinking of a way he's been using since, I don't know, the alternate storyline of Robocop in the original series. So, yeah. On the meantime, Sarah Cable, John's wife, um, develops a new project called Robocop 2, of course. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? And uh, the design looks very much like Murphy's design. Who is, been, who is behind this new Robocop 2? Why, John Cable himself. Or should we call him Robo Cable? Or as Teddy Rubskin would call him, Robo Bro. <laughs> so, a little bit of uh, the twisted people at OCP, not the good side, but the bad side, because there's like two different sides of this company, um, decides, let's frame Robocop and send Robo Cable after the CEO of OCP. Since they look exactly alike, except Robo Cable is like a gunmetal gray like finish, and he's black. Yet the COO can't tell the fucking difference between a bare, brand new Robocop suit and he's black between the old, broken, worn in Murphy who is white. I'm like, you couldn't tell this? Okay, movie, I'll, I'll, I'll buy your game, but okay. So, yeah. So after Robocop, I mean, Robo Cable attacks the CEO, she demands Robocop be brought in and taken and never be allowed to get on the streets again, basically. So they send Robo Cable after Alex Murphy. And, of course, the two of them fight, and we get a nice little, little scuffle between the two. At the same time as that going on, Murphy's son, James, sort of ironically enough, says, basically, since he works at this company now, let's find out what really happened to my father. So he does a little bit of digging into his dad's path to try and see what happens to him. After a few success, I mean a few unsuccessful attempts, he tries this new alternative. What he gets, you're gonna have to wait and see when you watch it. This movie is, I would say it is better than the first one, because the first one revolved around a bunch of different storylines all mixed in. And I know that video was like seven minutes long when I did the review. This one should not be as long, because this one is dives right into it. There's not much explaining. You ain't gotta do all this uh, origin shit anymore. It's just let's go and let's get a good action movie going on. And that's what we get. We get a good action movie. Now remember since this is a direct to DVD series, the effects and shit like that were not up to par so I'm not gonna bash it because it's, it's not up to par. It's a direct to video. It's not supposed to look good. <laughs> If it was like a big major blockbuster movie, yeah, but since it's something you can watch on TV at the time it came out, yeah, I'm not going to fault it for that. But as long as the story was interesting and it keeps me interested, and it does, I don't veer from these, these movies. These, these two movies I watched so far kept my attention, okay? And it's just good stuff. You, you got to love it, man, especially the interaction between... Robocop and Robo Cable. Say that two times fast. Say that ten times fast. Robocop, Robo Cable, Robocop, Robo Cable. Yeah. You'll get confused. <laughs> but I do like Robo Cable's design a little bit more since he looks more, I would say, futuristic. Even though he, it is the same design as Murphy's, Cable is taller than Alex Murphy, so he is more slimmer in the suit. While Murphy looks a little bit chubby in the suit, but 
Yeah. Oh, and before I go, I want to talk about quickly this reporter that comes inside OTP. It goes inside the Robo Chamber where Robocop sits in this little chair. This guy, I don't know, where'd you get this guy from? He sucks. He fucking sucks. He has his lines going on. He gets in the room, and then he gets to the chair, and then all of a sudden he, he starts going from regular dialogue like how I'm talking to this. And he sits in this chair where his metal ass sits. I'm like, are you are you becoming a robot? Did we have to get you a visor and some metal as well? Did, did you forget your lines right there on camera? And they just said, fuck it, let's just keep going with it? Because if that's the case, you fucking suck. You should have, they should have fired your ass, they should have cut you out completely. Because that was horrible. I mean, it's like you just literally forgot your lines right there and you just cut it. You just cut it like you're, being, like you're on the fucking cutting room floor or something. Yeah, what the fuck? That was horrible. Horrible. He was probably the only one in here that was bad. You also have this chick and her daughter. They have like these weird supernatural powers. Yeah, this is an alternate reality, so... Alternate universe, I should say. So yeah, weird shit has gone on in this universe. So yeah, I'm looking forward to more. I can't wait to see Melt... Not Meltdown. Is it Meltdown? No, this is Meltdown. Resurrection. Robocop Resurrection will be next, people. So, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Robocop, the Melt, Melt, I keep saying the Meltdown. This ain't Ice Age. Robocop, Meltdown. Did y'all see it? And if so, what did y'all think about it? Let me know down below. I'll see you guys in November for Resurrection. And then again in f January for the final film of the Robocop series before the re re remake or reboot releases. I'll see y'all then.